So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral you see for the constant of integration. Then we're given the integral of x plus 6 times the square root of 12x plus x squared, then all times dx. So the first thing that we have to do is, since we're using u substitution, we have to find out what u is going to be. So what is going to be u? Well, if we look here, we have the square root. And what's on the inside? We have 12x plus x squared. So if you take the derivative of that, we're going to get um, a variable raised to the x. And we have like an x to the 1 here. So generally, that's a good indication that we should use it as u. So 12x plus x squared. We're choosing this for u. Then what we want to do is find the derivative of it. So the derivative of u is just du. And then the derivative of 12x plus x squared is going to be 12 because the derivative of 12x is 12 plus, and then the derivative of x squared is 2x. Then we got to multiply the whole thing by dx. And then now we want to solve for dx, right? So what we can do is divide both sides by 12 plus 2x. So if you do that, you should get uh, dx equals du over 12 plus 2x. And now that we got that, what we want to do is just rewrite our integral. Then replace everything that u is with the actual letter u. So it's going to become x plus 6 times the square root of u, right? Because this is u. Actually, let me make it smaller. u. And then we're going to replace dx with what we solved it to be. So du over 12 plus 2x. And then what you can notice here is that these aren't the same. But if we factor out a 2 of this, it would become 6 plus, two, uh, six plus x. Right? 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times x is 2x. And this is basically just x plus 6, right? Then now we can actually cancel these. So these will cancel. Then we can rewrite our integral. By moving this one half out front, right? So it'd be one half times the square root of u du, right? Because all we did was move this out front and then cancel those. Then now we got it like this. We want to find the indefinite or the indefinite integral or like the antiderivative. So this is one half times u to the one half, right? Because the square root of u, the same thing as u to the one half. Then let's find the antiderivative. So what we do is we add one, right? So it would become 3 over 2. And then we divide by 3 over 2, right? So divided by 3 over 2 just makes it 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3 times u to the 3 over 2. But then we got this 1 half out front. So we got to multiply this thing by 1 half. So we do that 2 times uh, 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 over 6 is the same thing as 1 over 3. So it's just going to become 1 over 3 times u raised to the 3 over 2. Then we also got to add c, right? Because we're taking antiderivative, so you use c for the constant of integration. So now that we got it like this, all we got to do is replace u with what we chose u to be. So in this case, 12x plus x squared. So our final answer is going to be 1 over 3 times 12x plus x squared raised to the 3 over 2, and then plus c. So this right here is going to be our final answer.